And welcome back. San Diego Council Member Stephen Whitburn is taking a tougher stance on the homelessness crisis, proposing a ban on tents and structures on public land, but the plan also includes a relocation proposal, and he's going to join us now to discuss this. Uh, Councilman Whitburn, always great to see you. Thank you for coming in. Um, we, we, caught, we talked about this plan when you first proposed it. This seems to have some real teeth to it, but it's also, I'd like you, uh, you describe it, both tough but compassionate. There is a ton of community support for this, Ray. For what I'm going to be doing is next month bringing forward a ordinance to protect public health and safety by prohibiting homeless encampments on public property. These encampments are unsafe, both for the people who live in them and also for our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the people who live in the encampments, we've had cars jump the curb and hit tents. We had three people die near City College a couple of years ago. Uh, we've had several people living in encampments killed by hepatitis or sickened by Shigella. Uh, they're routinely attacked by mm. passerby, uh, drug dealers. Uh, we can't have that. And for our neighborhoods, we've had several fires start around encampments from people trying to keep warm or cook food. And those fires have spread. They've mm. spread up canyon walls, threatening homes and property. Uh, we've had uh, children walking to school on the sidewalks who have been blocked by tents on the sidewalk. They've had to actually walk out onto the sidewalk, uh, the, the road to get around the tents. Um, and for the residents who live in our neighborhoods, uh, for business customers, for even uh, visitors to San Diego, it feels unsafe when right. you, know, you see this erratic behavior. So we can't continue to have these homeless encampments on public property, and this ordinance uh, will prohibit them. Yeah, and I, don't, I think you know, nobody would disagree with you that they shouldn't be living on the streets. Um, you're talking about enforcement, but you're also talking about relocation, yes? A, a solution for a place for them to go. That's right. Um, if we're going to have people leave the sidewalks, we need a place for them to go. So we're also bringing forward a safe sleeping initiative. This is something that has worked well in other cities, uh, where we take a large parking lot, we screen it off for privacy, put in, uh, uh, put in showers, put in uh, security, put in restrooms, uh, and have the people who are currently on the sidewalks move in there instead. And it's away from homes, away from businesses. Uh, we've already spoken to some of the people on the street who have said that, yes, if that were available, they would take advantage of it. So we can't allow people to be on the sidewalks, but we can provide another place for them to be. Yeah, that is, I mean, I, the federal law says we can enforce and incite them. And there have been citations so, the, the, and so what are some of the locations where, are, are, could I call them tent cities, temporary shelters? What would you like to call them? We'll call them safe sleeping sites. Okay. Uh, we're looking for places on the periphery of downtown. Uh, one place that a number of people have suggested is the large Inspiration Point parking lot. Been there many times for a live shot, yes. Yeah, and, and we're evaluating that. We haven't made a final decision, uh, but that is one possibility. I'll also point out, Rafer, that even when there is no shelter available, there are are some places where we simply can't allow right. encampments at any time. Uh, so this ordinance will prohibit them uh, within two blocks of a school, mm -hmm. uh, within two blocks of a homeless shelter, uh, along any trolley tracks, along a waterway. Uh, in Balboa Park, Mission Bay Park, Presidio Park, uh, the Shoreline Parks, regardless of availability, we simply can't have encampments in those places. Now, this is not a partisan statement, but when you talk about enforcement, the left will generally, the hairs on the back of their neck stand up. They don't think that's a compassionate thing to do. I think you're taking a little bit of a, of a harder stance from, from maybe supporters in your own party by doing this, but I think a lot of people secretly think this is the way to go. Are you getting any resistance on this? There will be people who are opposed to this. Yeah. Um, I don't think that it is compassionate to allow people to live on the sidewalks, and I don't think it is safe for our neighborhoods. Uh, we will get uh, loud resistance to this when yes. it comes to city council. Uh, so when it comes to city council uh, at the end of April, I really hope that KUSI listeners will turn out in force and express their views on the ordinance. Uh, I would welcome the support uh, because we're going to have to convince the council members from every district right. uh, that this is the right thing to do. I believe it is. I think most people believe it is. But we've got to make sure we get this through the city council. You're definitely going out on a limb. I do want to point out that you do have the support of the mayor uh, also on this. 
uh, which is interesting. Will it end up being a, uh, put on a ticket for voters to vote on, or is this strictly, strictly going to be a city council decision that will be voted on? This ordinance is strictly going to be uh, voted on at the city council. So that's what, that's what we've got to get through, and that's going to be at the end of April. So go to the meeting in April and voice your uh, support do. if you have support. All right. Councilman Whipper, as always, pleasure to see you, sir. Always. Thanks Thank you, so Raper. Allie, back to you.